the Aorus Z590 Tachyon caters to fans of premium motherboards. We're talking about hardware enthusiasts and people who like to tinker with their components for higher performance. Let's talk about the design first, which is already quite unconventional on its own. This beast features four PCIe full-length slots, four M2 slots, excellent heat sinks, and a subtle design. Some might say the design is a bit simple, but that is so that you can use it on a test bench as well. For example, this motherboard comes with a separate I.O. shield instead of a rear panel cover. As such, the VRM heatsink is a bit smaller here. The ATX power port is also near the bottom for easier access in workstation test bench builds. Another unique design quirk is that it uses two dim slots instead of the usual four. We don't count this as a con because this is since there is less interference when you have only two sticks installed. It allows you to overclock better than you could with four RAM sticks, a unique choice and this shows that it is built for hardware enthusiasts, not your average gamer. Furthermore, it features power and reset buttons on the Switch itself. You also get programmable buttons that can be used to save OC profiles or tweak the voltage. On top of that, you get a 12 plus 1 phase VRM design with each power stage having access to 100 amps of power. This means the board can output 1300 amps of power in total. Quite impressive. It has tons of fan headers and great connectivity options. So the Tachyon is not for the average gamer. It has high-end features and comes at a high-end price. While it's not practical for everyone, it is one of the best premium choices. To sum it up, what we like in this board are the extreme overclocking features, the clever design choices that cater to enthusiasts, the 12 plus 1 VRM design, and 100 amp power stages. It's filled to the brim with bells and whistles, and it has tons of fan headers. On the downside, it's not practical or affordable for mid-range buyers. Our rating for VRM design is 10 out of 10. Aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 7 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.75 out of 10. Do you think another motherboard's better? Check another video where we review the top 5 motherboards for Intel i7-10700K, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Have an awesome day.